Hi, my name is Martin Cole. I've been successfully training financial markets for the best part of 20 years. But way back in 1990, I was working in construction and the industry went bad and I ended up bankrupt. Suddenly I was broke, I was homeless with a wife and two young children to take care of. Well, just like you would likely do, we worked our way back up to start again. And it was some years later, whilst reading a story about copper prices, that I decided to have a look at trading. Now, I knew absolutely nothing about financial markets, but only a few years later, I was featured in a leading financial magazine where my trading method was independently tested and revealed how I could predict market moves better than eight times out of 10. Now, if you're already a trader, you will know that that is a staggering prediction rate. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I do it. By a twist of fate, it was my bankruptcy that led me to the understanding of how to predict financial markets. It was having nothing that actually led me to financial freedom. And it all started by looking at the markets as a business entity that existed and operated independently of any trading activity. To examine this, I'd like you to consider that the financial markets are not there for our benefit. They are in fact a business, not unlike a shop. And just like any other business that does not belong to us, we are not going to be allowed to walk in the shop and freely take some of the shop owner's profits. The learning path for a trader um, an in, is an industry promoted one where you are encouraged to study chart patterns and then to attach meaning to those patterns. This learning path is nothing more than a facade, a facade similar to that of a nicely decorated shop window. Traders right from the outset of learning to trade are driven to staring at charts, staring into the shop window. They are placed on a path that feels comfortable. They are freely given high quality trading software that keeps them on this chart analysis path. A path that is designed and promoted by the market makers for the benefit of their business. This path followed by the masses more often than not results in steady and consistent losses, sometimes spread over years. But just in case I'm being too cynical here, let's look at this from the other side, the side that says there is nothing wrong with trading patterns. And this is a free market open to all. Well, trading patterns does offer a degree of comfort to a trader. It's a known quantity, so to speak. There's also the feeling that if one finds a pattern or an indicator and then one sticks to that, there'll be no more anxiety. It will be an easy journey. The free charting packages that draw these candle patterns along with every known indicator are of high quality. They're robust and they cater for pretty much any style of trading that you want to engage in. There are also thousands of chat rooms and forums that are basically comparing charts, sharing patterns and information with each other. There are huge numbers of traders all looking at and doing the same thing. So where is the problem? Well, none of this would be a problem and no questions could be raised if the greater number of these traders following this path achieve success. But the facts are they don't. It seems to be common knowledge that around 95% of traders fail at trading and end up losing a lot of money over several years. Surely this has to raise some questions. At least the practice of trading by looking at candle or bar patterns deserves to be examined more closely. You know, at first glance, pattern trading seems a simple and easy to learn method. It's an almost immediate solution. The trader can download a free charting package, look for a pattern, pop on an indicator and start making money. However, this does not happen. Why? Because patterns only appear to repeat. Every chart pattern is created as a result of traders placing trades at a certain time and price. These trades are placed relative to what the traders believe about the future price movement, either up or down. Now later one may observe a similar chart pattern, but the only way for that pattern to be truly repeated would be for that pattern to contain the exact same traders with the exact same beliefs that caused the third pa first pattern to be generated. You know, what we can draw from this is that whilst a similar pattern may repeat, the actions and beliefs that make up that repeating pattern are not the same action beliefs that created the first pattern. Whichever way you look at this, there is a fundamental inconsistency in the belief that similar chart patterns are going to show the same outcomes from which you can profit. A market maker can manipulate a market to trigger indicators and to set up familiar chart patterns that all look great in a shop window. Patterns can be presented to you that will prompt you to enter and exit the market at times when the market makers want you to enter and exit. Trading is their business and it's driven by seeking profits for themselves at every opportunity. 
The next area of consideration has to be the tools of a trader, i.e. the software. Now it's true, without doubt, this is of high quality. It's easy to use and even provides the user with training. There's also an army of other users promoting add-ins and indicators. And in some cases, this is software that costs millions of dollars to first develop, distribute and maintain. Why would anyone do this? Would you invest millions of dollars in developing products to then freely give them away without any possibility of reward? The truth of the matter is that traders are freely given tools so that they can engage in the shop window to provide liquidity and other benefits for the market makers. Also, in many cases, these software packages hook directly into dealing platforms where the broker charges you, one way or another, for the placing of your trades. Again, a business driven by the seeking of profit for themselves, not for you, the trader. And finally, we have the thousands of chat rooms and forums. Again, in most cases, all free, where traders can meet up to exchange ideas, chart patterns and market chat. Now here you'll find the safety in numbers syndrome. Humans find comfort in numbers. The more number of people that are doing something in a particular way gives that way a power all of its own. A power that acts like a magnet drawing in more and more traders. Once again, the forums are a business, constantly selling and or promoting more and more trading solutions to their members. Now I realise this may seem like market makers have things really wrapped up and there's little hope for a trader to succeed. But nothing could be further from the truth. If we stick to a simple premise, a premise that states the market maker's business is a profit-seeking business, carrying that forward, we know that successful businesses have rules and procedures that are 100% 100% profit-driven. When you train with me, you'll be learning the rules and procedures that the market makers use to generate millions of dollars of profit every day. Now, coming up next is a screenshot of my personal trading software. And the first thing you'll notice is that it looks different. It is different because it's only designed to do one thing, to show you when the rules and procedures of the market makers are being played out. The rules and procedures that I'll train you in via my DVD course and ongoing training. Now most charting packages produce different patterns simply depending on the time frame you choose. Notice here my software, the red and green blocks. Well, these never change. Regardless of what time frame you're looking at, these blocks will be in exactly the same position at exactly the same price level. My software is a huge leap forward in trading. It sets the trader on a new path that ignores patterns and 100% focuses on the profit-driven business of the market makers. My software and my training provide you with the most consistent method of training you can imagine because I train you in the profit-driven rules and procedures of the market makers. When you buy a set of DVDs, you also get me. I am always contactable and remain available for extra help if you need it. Some of my past students have been with me for over 10 years. Why? Because A, they make money and B, I am always there if they need me. This is not about me selling you a set of DVDs. This is about a relationship that will probably exist for years in the future. Now, I realise in this industry that the idea of me developing a working relationship with you is probably hard to comprehend. But when I started out, way before the days of the internet, that is how it used to be done. And I see no good reason to change that. The route to trading success is by learning the systems and procedures of the market makers. By the time I have trained you in these, you'll be working from within the shop. You'll be working with, or rather, joining in the activity of the market makers as they run their business. You'll be making money when they are making money. And nowhere else will you find consistency like that. Now, as I said earlier, I've been trading for the best part of 20 years. I started with nothing, in fact, from bankruptcy. And just a few years later, I was featured in the industry leading magazine as having a trading method that produced results better than eight times out of 10. My training and software takes you inside the market maker's business, not via the facade of a chart pattern, but by the real mechanics of how they operate their business. If you're interested in developing a long-term successful trading career and like the idea of working with me to that end, I look very much forward to working with you soon.